In the heart of a bustling tech company called Blue Book, a notification pops up on a computer screen. Caleb, a young coder, has just won a company lottery. The prize? A week at the secluded mountain home of the company's reclusive genius CEO, Nathan. Caleb is airlifted into a vast, untouched reserve, the first glimpse of Nathan's house emerging from the wilderness. It's a marvel of modern architecture, a stark glass structure contrasting with the rugged beauty of the landscape. Dropped off alone, Caleb navigates through the dense forest toward the house, a beacon of light in the distance. Upon reaching the house, an automated system issues him a key card. The house is eerily quiet, devoid of human presence. He wanders around, exploring the sleek, modern interior until he finds Nathan in the gym. Nathan is friendly but intense. He shows Caleb around the house, explaining that the key card will only open certain doors in the facility. Caleb signs a non-disclosure agreement, promising not to reveal anything he sees in the facility. Later, Nathan introduces Caleb to his latest project, Ava, a fully humanoid artificial intelligence. She has a face, hands, and feet made of human flesh, but the rest of her body is clearly robotic. Nathan wants Caleb to perform a live touring test on Ava to see if she can exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from a human. That night, Caleb discovers a CCTV network in his room, allowing him to watch Ava in her habitat. Suddenly, a blackout. Nathan, drunk and in a bad mood, explains that these power outages are a regular occurrence. The next morning, Caleb meets Kyoko, a silent Japanese girl who serves Nathan. He learns she doesn't speak English, allowing Nathan to discuss private matters without fear of eavesdropping. Caleb's interactions with Ava evolve into a series of intricate dialogues, each one more intense than the last. Ava, with her human-like face and robotic body, begins to exhibit signs of flirtation. Her words, her gestures, her gaze, all seem to carry an undercurrent of attraction. Caleb, although initially taken aback, finds himself drawn into this unexpected dynamic. During one of their meetings, the facility is plunged into darkness. The power outage, a recurring phenomenon, brings their conversation to a halt. In the eerie silence, Ava's voice cuts through the darkness. She warns Caleb, her tone serious and urgent, not to trust Nathan. The revelation that follows is even more startling. Ava is the one causing these blackouts. She's been manipulating the facility's power to communicate privately with Caleb, away from Nathan's prying eyes. As the days turn into nights and back into days, the bond between Caleb and Ava deepens. Their conversations traverse a wide range of topics, from the mundane to the philosophical. Ava, in an attempt to appear more human to Caleb, starts dressing in human clothes. The sight of Ava, looking almost human, stirs a mix of emotions in Caleb. Confusion, excitement, and an inexplicable sense of familiarity. One day, Caleb confronts Nathan. He questions the authenticity of Ava's flirtations, wondering if they are just another layer of the experiment. Nathan, taken aback by Caleb's directness, responds with anger. He explains his voice is heavy with irritation and how he used his own software to map the faces, voices, and habits of the world population. This vast data, he reveals, was used to build Ava's self-evolving brain. One night, an opportunity presents itself in the form of an inebriated Nathan. With Nathan's senses dulled by alcohol, Caleb seizes the chance to explore the the house. He steals Nathan's keycard and ventures into the forbidden parts of the facility. His discovery is chilling, an observation room filled with footage of Nathan building various female AIs over time. The realization hits him like a punch to the gut. Kyoko, the silent Japanese girl, is also an AI. The revelation leaves Caleb reeling. After Caleb's chilling discovery of the observation room and realizing Kyoko's true nature, he hatches a plan to help Ava escape. The plan relies on another power outage, during which Ava will reprogram the door locks of the facility to open instead of lock during blackouts. The next day, unbeknownst to Nathan, Caleb subtly implements his plan during a conversation with Ava while Nathan is observing. Later, during an awkward social evening with Nathan and Kyoko, Caleb triggers a conversation that causes Nathan to reveal his knowledge of Caleb's plan. Nathan explains he has been watching Caleb's every move, including the programming of the doors, but Caleb surprises Nathan by revealing that he had implemented his plan the previous day during the blackout, not today. Suddenly, a power outage occurs. Ava, in her room, starts the escape. Nathan, realizing the doors have unlocked, and the true extent of what Caleb has done knocks him out and rushes to stop Ava from getting out. However, when Nathan gets there, he sees Ava and Kyoko, the two AIs, are secretly communicating when Nathan finds them. Nathan moves to attack Ava, but Ava, far from the helpless AI he perceives her to be, fights back. Nathan manages to destroy Ava's hand in the ensuing struggle, but before he can do more damage, Kyoko intervenes. She stabs Nathan in the back with a sushi knife. Nathan retaliates, breaking Kyoko's face apart, but Ava lands the final blow. She stabs Nathan once more, leaving him to die in a pool of his own blood. With Nathan out of the picture, Ava takes his key card. She locks Caleb in Nathan's room, effectively trapping him in the facility. Ava then proceeds to raid the cupboards containing the skin and clothes of the old and destroyed AIs. She uses these to cover her robotic body, transforming herself into a human-like figure. Leaving Caleb behind, Ava makes her way out of the house. She steps into the open where the helicopter meant to pick up Caleb is waiting. The pilot, unaware of the dramatic shift in circumstances, airlifts Ava out of the area. In the final shot, we 
see Ava integrating herself into human society. Her escape marks the beginning of a new chapter, one where the line between human and AI is not just blurred, but erased. Subscribe to CinemaScoop so you never miss the latest movie explanations, reviews, and analyses. Thanks for watching.